Welcome to another training session on UC. Today we are going to be looking at emergency testing. UC allows you to automate emergency testing of DALI devices. We have already logged in as administrator. So let's start by going to the emergency testing pages. First of all, I select maintenance from the left hand bar. I'm then offered some further choices and we're going to pick emergency testing. This brings up some further choices, test log, test schedule and manual test. Let's start by looking at manual tests. Having selected the manual test page, you'll notice you have the opportunity to either perform a function test, a duration test, or actually to generate a test report. The function test checks the operational status of all emergency devices in a targeted group. The duration test checks that the battery associated with each device within the emergency group is operating according to the manufacturer's specification. So let's start by looking at performing a manual test on an emergency group. At the top of the page we have the group selector. Let's start by looking for some emergency groups. Now I know that there are emergency groups set up on this system and uh, they actually named or start with the name emergency. So I'm going to start by typing EM into the group selector box and this offers me a choice of two groups, group 3 which is called emergency 14 and group 1000 ballast plus emergency. Let's select group 3 which is um, named emergency 14. Quite simply we're going to start a function test on this by clicking on the button. Um, we get a dialog which actually um, confirms whether we want to start the test or not and we are going to start the test. Now the time taken to execute a function test varies. With some devices this might take up to a minute. Uh, the particular device we're looking at I think takes approximately 30 seconds. So what we'll do now is we'll generate a test report. Looking at the test report we can see that um, the DALI emergency test is currently still pending. We can see the time that the function test was started and we can see the state of the battery charge and the duration test state, both of which are currently showing as unknown. There's another way you can actually look at test reports and I can either refresh this page here or I can actually go and look at the test log result. So let's look at the test log result. Okay, in fact, while we've been um, reviewing what's on the previous page, the test is now being completed. Um, here's the test that we've just started. It's uh, an immediate emergency function test which passed. Uh, it was performed on emergency uh, 14, which was group 3. The number of devices tested was 1, and you can see that the number that passed are also 1. From this page we can actually generate um, a report that we can email to someone by using the icon I'm pointing at now. We can generate a PDF of the report which we can save and print later or we can print directly from this page. So I've currently highlighted test 2 and now if I just click on the icon to generate a PDF of that test you can see um, it details the test that took place. It tells me it's an emergency test log, it gives me the site information, the work group that I'm operating in, it tells me um, the name of the test that was executed, um, and it tells me the start time, the end time, the number of devices that were tested, those that were passed, and then lists um, each device that was in the test. In this case there was only one device, and you can see here its address, its name and its status. Okay, let's just close that window. And uh, now let's look at how I can automate emergency testing. 
I'm going to use the breadcrumb view which you'll see just below the main navigation bar at the top of the page and that lets me hop around to any level within the uh, UC web pages so here I'll just hop back to emergency uh, and now I'm going to go into something called test schedule for those of you who've already seen the training session on um, scene scheduling you should be very familiar with this view this calendar view allows us to schedule emergency tests for automation you can see that uh, we're currently showing uh, September and that today is the 18th and that's shown with this highlighted day on the calendar for today there are already two items uh, in the calendar and these represent the two immediate emergency function tests that have taken place and you saw those in the log again uh, as with the scene scheduling when I hover over any item in the calendar it brings up a box which gives me an overview of that item okay so let's actually set up some emergency test schedules I want to schedule my emergency tests so it doesn't disturb people in the office environment so let's start off by arranging a repetitive function test which will take place out of office hours I'm going to start by selecting a Saturday within the month I'm going to give this emergency schedule a meaningful name I'm going to call it function and I'm going to put in brackets it's actually it's by weekly I've already got my start date as the Saturday and because I don't expect people to be in the office on a let's say a Saturday afternoon I can safely start this test at two o'clock in the afternoon I'll give it a background color in fact we'll just use one from the picker quick pick color go to the next step of the wizard I do want to repeat this uh, I'm going to repeat this weekly but I'm going to repeat it every other week so we choose repeat every two weeks I want to keep my day selection to be a Saturday I'm going to choose my emergency group and I'll use the same method EM I'll select group number three emergency 14 and as I said we're going to do a function test if I wanted a duration test I could just select it from the drop down and we'll do that in a while the last step is to click the next button and now you can see that the wizard finishes and the calendar view refreshes and shows us that we have now set up a function test which will happen every other week going forwards in time on a Saturday at two o'clock in the afternoon let's just run forward over a year now and there it is yet again our function test is shown so this is going to happen now um, forever uh, going into the future we'll have this bi-weekly function test let's jump back to the current month okay so a duration test is another important test that we want to um, execute duration tests um, are going to be less frequent than a function test so I'm going to pick um, the 27th of September for my duration test and I'm going to say that this is going to occur on a monthly basis again this is the kind of thing that I want to make sure there's no one in the office so here maybe I'll choose to start this a bit later four o'clock in the afternoon um, I'll go back because I forgot to pick a sensible color um, I think we'll go for a nice blue jump forward again select monthly and I'm going to do this every month on the fourth Saturday of the month 
we need to select our group and it's going to be the same emergency group again and this time we're going to perform a duration test click the last stage of the wizard and there we have it we have on the last Saturday of the month here we have a duration test if we hover over it you can see um, here's the details of this particular instance it's going to operate on group number three which is titled emergency 14 uh, and it's going to take place at four o'clock I'll just show you again if we move forward um, to December the next year you'll see there we go last Saturday of the month there is our four o'clock duration test so you can see it's it's very very simple to automate um, schedules for emergency testing uh, just one thing that you would have seen before when we looked at um, scheduled scene recalls if I click on the icon in the in the right hand corner of a calendar day it brings me up an overview for that day so now I can see this day view which shows me the full 24 hours of the day and allows me to see the detail of each either emergency item or if you're looking at scene uh, recalls uh, what will actually happen at that point in time just click off that view and it will close um, the view is there because you may have the um, situation where you have added so many schedules on a day that they can no longer fit within the day calendar box. So this is a handy way of being able to view all your schedules. Let's come out of the um, emergency test schedule. Go back to emergency testing. And now we can see on this page um, an overview of all the scheduled emergency tests for this month. So we can see our two functional tests going to happen bi-weekly and we can see our single monthly duration tests. Uh, finally I want to point out that there is um, an overview showing you the tests that are in progress and any tests that have failed and this information is shown both on the emergency testing page, on the maintenance page and in fact is displayed on our home or navigation page as part of the dashboard. I hope you found this session on emergency testing very useful and you've seen how easy it is to automate emergency testing using the UC product to generate test reports which can then be either printed directly, emailed to interested parties, or a PDF can be created which can be saved and used later. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this training session on UC.